Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chauncey. I pray that everyone is doing well. Um, I wanted to come on here and just release this word that um, I had been holding on to. And it's in regard to kingdom marriage. I did a video on this some days ago, um, but the Lord is still speaking in regards to this passage in particular. And so we're going to come from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 7 through 12. And it reads... I observe yet another example of something meaningless underneath the sun. This is a case of a man who was all alone without a child or a brother, yet who works hard to gain as much wealth as he can. But when he asks himself, who am I working for? Why am I giving up so much pleasure now? It is all so meaningless and depressing. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm, but how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Real quick, I just want to um, share with you what the Lord had me write down as I was just getting revelation in regard to what he was speaking for from this passage. And so verses seven through eight, it says again, I observe yet another example of something meaningless under the sun. This is the case of a man who was all alone without a child or a brother, yet works hard to gain as much wealth as he can. But then he asked himself, who am I working for? Why am I giving up so much pleasure now? It is all so meaningless and depressing. This passage in, or these scriptures in particular, the Lord had me write down that the kingdom spouse who is portrayed as the prodigal, so like the one who is running from God, um, they are building without a real purpose. They are building without a true purpose and they're recognizing that it's worthless uh, whether that's building a career, building a business, um, you know, just gaining fame and, and just fortunes of the world. Like they're building all of this to fill a void in their lives because they're running from God and they know that they're running from God. They know that God has a call in their lives. They know that God is um, ushering them into a new season and this season is kingdom marriage. And so it scares them in a sense uh, particularly men that are running from the call. Women, we must be careful to um, be prayerful about this and be understanding because the men are underneath a heavy attack from the enemy because they are the head. And so the enemy always comes for the head first because if he can attack the head of God's order, of the household, then the wife and the children and everything and everyone else that is connected to the head will eventually wither away. And so this is why we must continue to be understanding, be patient um, and be prayerful about um, kingdom husbands in particular. And so this video is for kingdom marriage in general, but that portion in specific was directed towards uh, kingdom men. So be very patient and understanding of what um, the husbands are going through and why they are running because it is God's call is never easy to receive. So let's, let's just continue to be prayerful, understanding and patient. And so they're building without, they are recognizing that they're building without a real purpose, a true purpose. And they're seeing that it's worthless. They are um, experiencing a longing for more. They know that there's more to life. They know that there's more than money. They know that there's more than, you know, sleeping around. They know that there's more than just gaining, you know, material things. There's that void. There's a need for something more. And they have an empty space and they want it to be filled. And then we go to point number two, where it uh, mentions in verse number nine through 11, it says two people are better off than one for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? Point number two is 
there is so much power in two. There is so much power in the number two, okay? I need you to know that when God brings the two of you together, there will be success, there will be support, and there will be some type of stimulation. There will be success, there will be support, and there will be some type of stimulation. Verse nine, again, it talks about two people being better off than one for they can help each other succeed. Success, what is success? Is favorable, prosperous endeavor, the accomplishment of a goal, okay? It is the favorable or a prosperous endeavor and ultimately the accomplishment of a goal or several goals. So I need you to know that when God brings you together, you are both going to bring great success to one another's lives, okay? You're going to, um, the Bible tells us that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor, from the Lord. So women, I need you to know, you know, there's no need for you to flaunt yourself. And this word is speaking to me as well. Like there's no need for us to flaunt ourselves or to try to get his attention because we are the favor. Their lives, our husband's lives are literally about to change or about to shift because they are connected to us. They are connected to the favor of God, which is the woman, which is the wife. Okay, so the man will be elevated. Op- doors will op- doors will swing open for him when God connects him to His favor. Okay, opportunities will come running to chase him down when God connects him to His wife, who is a representation of His favor. Okay, success is coming not only to him but it's coming to you as well because God has downloaded different strategies into your husband that you will only receive through your kingdom marriage, through the connection with your husband. So success, this is a two-way street. You have things that only you can receive through him and he has things that only he can receive through you, okay? Success is coming from both ways when you two connect. Verse 10, we'll talk about the word support. Remember, the power of two will bring success, support, and stimulation. Verse 10, it talks about one person falls, the other, if one person falls, the other can reach out and help, but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. What is support? It means to hold up, to assist, to keep from fainting, yielding, or losing courage. Okay. It means to hold up, to assist, to keep from fainting, yielding, or losing courage. I need you to know that when God brings you two together, you will hold one another up. You will assist one another. You will keep one another from fainting. You will help one another not to yield to sin, not to yield to temptation. And you will help one another not to lose courage. This We're talking about the power of two. The power of two. And the third uh, point is um, when, we come, when we're talking about the, the power of two, Uh, Remember, success, support, and stimulation. What is a stimulant? Like, what does that mean? It means to make or cause something to grow or develop. Verse number 11, it says, Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? You will make or cause one another to grow or develop. That, that's the definition for stimulant. You will make or cause one another to grow or develop. Point number three, you are a triple threat. You are a triple threat. Now, point number one, we talked about them building without them recognizing that they're building without a true purpose and a real purpose. And there's that void in them. They're just longing for more. Point two, we talked about the power of two um, being success, support, and stimulation. And then point number three, we are now talking about you, your kingdom spouse, and God being a triple threat. Verse 12 of Ecclesiastes chapter four, it says, a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. 
a triple braided cord is not easily broken, okay? You are a threat on your own in your single state. But when you get together and, and God unites you, like child, like it's a done deal. And Satan knows that. That's why this fight for this kingdom marriage to come together is just, child, it's been a battle, okay? Like I done been weary on several several levels i'm like lord like god i need you to move like now because i'm gonna need some supernatural strength like it's just and i feel that i'm not the only one feeling that but i need us to be encouraged that regardless of the battle regardless of the war waging against the these kingdom marriages like it, it it's going to come it has to come to pass because when god speaks a word it cannot return to him void so it's going to come to pass regardless the only thing we need to continue to do is to stand in faith stand in prayer trust god's timing just like you know christmas is on a certain day and thanksgiving is on a certain day like we can't force those things to come outside of their given time we can't force Christmas to be in July when Christmas is in December. We can't force, you know, Thanksgiving to be, you know, in uh, April when it's in November. Like we can't force those times out of their their right place. And so this is the same it is with this kingdom marriage. God has a set time for it to come together. And when it comes together, child, it's going to be like you eating that <laughs> That meal on Thanksgiving or that meal on Christmas where it's like, man, this was worth it. Okay, I've been waiting for this. That is literally what God is going to have us say. Like, I've been waiting for this and now it's finally here. And so be encouraged. Be encouraged and know that God um, is allowing them to see. He's allowing the kingdom spouses that have gone astray. He's allowing them to see that they have been building life without a purpose. They have been building life without you. And they're recognizing that there's a void that only God can feel and that only you can feel because it's a God connection. It's a it's God unifying you. And number two, you both will understand and know and see that there's power in the um, the unity of you two. Success will come from it. Support will come from it and stimulation will come from it. Okay. And then three, you are a triple threat. You plus them plus God it's a it's a game changer it's a done deal so be encouraged and know that it now is the time to love this is a season where god is saying it is the time to love two is better than one but three is unbreakable be encouraged